Welcome to Smoky CNC Woodworks. I'm Brian, and today I'm going to do something that I got a lot of requests from my last video, which was a live video. I had several things that people uh, requested me to do. Uh, they were just wanting to see more of. One of them was 3D. So I'm going to do a 3D cut today. It's from the Clip Art Bank in Vectric Aspire, and I just didn't have time to program it because when I program the two or three other things I've done that's 3D, man, it takes hours. I, and it probably doesn't for people who do it all the time and really know what they're doing. But I don't mess with the 3D side of it that much. It always comes out really cool. I don't know why I don't do more of it. It's just, I never do. I'm always filling orders. So another thing that I'm going to be doing down the road is more stuff on the machine. I'm probably going to try to break it down into smaller parts and the top down into smaller parts. I'm not breaking the machine down. And I'm going to talk about each little section of it just so people get a better understanding of what's going on there. And you guys heard me mentioning one that uh, I had an upcoming project, was being hush-hush about it. Still kind of being hush-hush about it. I'm not there yet. It's actually one that I'm probably going to have to film by over several days and just simply because it's a bigger project. And I've got to do a lot of putting together, a lot of cutting, so Y'all know it whenever I, you see it, whenever that video comes up, the meet and greet. I'm going to be in Pryor, Oklahoma on March 28th, and me, my wife and I are both going to be there. We're going to have a booth. I'm going to be selling some woodwork, and the meet and greet's actually for Arms Family Homestead and Keeping It Dutch. Uh, they rented the fairgrounds at Pryor, Oklahoma, and so there's a great big building where this is going to be held, and so that's where we're all going to be. So y'all should come out if you can. If you're anywhere close, just come on over and check it out. So today, like I said, I'm gonna cut a 3D thing. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. There wasn't anything in the uh, thumbnail showing you what it was. I just told you it was gonna be 3D. That way maybe it'd draw a few more of you in to come check it out. So that's what we're doing. Let's go.
came out really cool. It was just a little different. Whenever I did it, it cut, leaving all, you can't really see it, I mean, but all these little bitty ridges, they're little bitty. That's why I was sanding all of it. I kind of slowed down on the sanding and just stopped altogether on the horse itself because I was afraid it would take away some of the detail. And I mean, if you'll look in there, there's a lot of detail to it. You can see the mane and everything back here and the tail. It, I thought it come out really cool. I'm just curious about why it's got all the little, it made all the indented lines. Because the ones I did before, I did one of an eagle, it came out really smooth. So that's something I'm gonna have to check into. I'm quite certain it's something I did, not they did. I'm certain, certain I screwed it up, so <laughs> I'll just take it. So that's gonna be about it for this time, guys. And if y'all haven't done so yet, please run over and subscribe. And also, don't forget about my Smoky Uncuffed. I have it on podcast and on YouTube. Go check them out, and I'll see y'all next time.